Welcome on back. This is the final nine holes of the Infinite Disc Beehive Classic. We're back on the Prodiscus front course. Uh, we've got our four players, Clint Calvin, who's 20 down so far, Cade following him at nine down, Joey at eight down, and Mason at eight down. So here we go, hole one on the final nine. This is uh, 400 feet. Uh, you can go sidearm or backhand. Uh, usually the, the preferred play is backhand. And Clint with an 11 stroke lead going into a final nine. Yeah. You, you, you gotta, he's gotta feel like this is almost a victory lap. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, at this point, he's just, he's just looking for some more highlights, maybe a few more big putts. Yeah, he's, he's feeling it. <laughs> Another so ace. Another ace. How would that be? <laughs> That's a nice hyzer. That, yeah, if you could ace the rest of them, I, I think you might have a shot, Kate. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think I just need to ace the next eight. That would yeah. be. I mean, make it are, a make it a close race. You are the junior world champion, so <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't put it past you. There's Joey going the forehand route. Looks Let's like see. he's flexed it out. It's little cool. early fade. Yeah, there. it's a little high. That one. That one came out a little early. It looked like. Out there to the right, no OB, no. Mason taking the hyzer out. So we had to cut this down because due to time constraints and with us having to, to uh, bag that round two in the middle of it with the wind, this ended up having to be a final nine, which isn't ideal, but at least we got a final round in, even if it is nine holes. So going Mason oh, keeping it up. Great Look at that go. That was for his par. And this... this this they started this final nine, what maybe oh. forty five minutes after they finished this round two, the end of round two. So what, there wasn't much time in between it. Yeah, yeah. And Clint picking up another birdie. Did he just pick up another birdie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse me, Mason and Clint both got birdies there. So, so through Clint's, I'm keep trying to keep track of this. Through Clint's last ten holes, he's eleven down. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. There's so many birdies, I lose count. So now it's getting real steep. The comeback mm -hmm. is getting real steep, Kate. I'm still open, you know? <laughs> so through the final nine, Clint, Cade, Mason, all picked up birdies. And Joey with that early fade on the drive. Here we go, that hole two. Hole two. This is a 700 feet dog leg left. It's a pretty unique uh, second shot where you got to pick a you got to pick a gap or go or go over the top. Uh, usually the play is a big hyzer out to the right and then uh, a hyzer or a straight shot through the trees. Clint's just playing the smart play out in the open to the right. Yeah, at this point he's going big flex. Doesn't have much to lose here. Got a ton of distance on that. You're putting some power into this. Yeah, I'm just going with my play, just simple hyzer off the tee. At this point, you're playing for position here too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At this point, you Clint, and Joey are kind of Clint's pretty far out there. That's a nice one from Mason. That's some ground play too. Look Good at that. Good roll. Joey's looking for everything he can get at this point. He wants to get in there. I don't think anybody's catching Clint, but second place is up in the air. Yep. He's eyeing up high, isn't he? Yeah, I, this is a common play if you don't have a gap. It's just to spike it down. He's got those two little skinny pines right in there. Hard to tell where he ended up, but I'm sure it probably looked pretty good. Mason might be going to the tomahawk again. If yep. you've got that in your arsenal, why not? Why not? Yeah, Mason throws a tomahawk further further than most people throw a backhand. Yeah. So. And Clint's got himself a nice enough spot that he can just throw a gentle hyzer. No big deal. He's probably, what, 270 out? Yeah. Oh, you're an ideal spot. Yeah, I'm, I'm in... Uh, where the short pad normally is. Yeah, if you can pick a spot to be, that's the spot off your drive. 
but that approach didn't look ideal. No, it was, it was a little low. Kind of cut some some of the trees and dropped it down. And of course, Clint hits another birdie. <laughs> Why not? Joey taking his time there on that putt. That's a birdie. Mason picking up a birdie. This is a tough hole. This dog leg with the protected green with the trees. There's OB and Hazard. It's a tough hole. So to get three birdies on that in the card is really good. It's mm -hmm. impressive. Well, Clint's not slowing down. So I don't know if it's going to be easy to catch him. <laughs> Hope three is also 700 feet. This is a um, pretty unique hole where you got to throw off the tee for a placement shot, and then your second shot's going over the water to this uh, this green that's got OB surrounding it. It's a little different seeing it not in the wind for like we did in round one. That's looking nice. That's a really nice shot from Clint. That's got some distance to it. That's good hyzer from uh, Mason out there. Yeah, swinging it wide. That's in a great spot. Joey's making the push. He wants to get it out there and get him a nice approach. Yeah, I believe that's uh, Joey's cloud breaker there. Drills that really far. You just trying to go for distance here and get it as... Yeah, yeah, at this point I'm just trying to cut off as much distance as I can. Give myself a short approach. You're gonna have options from there almost. You can probably go either side of the tree. Yeah. See, this is how the first that first round we that the wind that we had on round one, everybody was just laying a shot up. Now these players can actually go for this green and actually have a shot at it. Joey just lays a beaut. There's OB deep of that green, and it's not too far off, so. Distance, distance control is key. And that looks, Ooh, I can't tell. It's on the back side. It's right by that OB line. I mean, well, Clint's not going out of bounds, is he? I mean, at this I point, mean, yeah. like, he's playing out of his mind. That's That looks pretty good for That's Mason. a good shot, yeah. Here's your approach. Throwing it back, and I'm also over there by Clint. Oh, we will have to see. Oh, that's a lot Just of stuff. out. It's on the weak side. Here we go. Oh, here we go, yeah. So I was actually OB, so I'm taking my meter in here. Oh, no. Just leave that low. Yeah. So it looked like Clint was right there OB as well, was he? I believe so. So he didn't get a birdie, but it sure felt like one yeah. almost. Oh, he, that's, yeah. his, that's his first par in like 12 holes. He's birdied it or eagled, hole in one and everything else. Joey getting a birdie. He's fighting for that second place spot. That's a two That's yeah, a two, two strokes. Stroke. Two strokes on me there, yeah. Yeah, I don't think Clint has missed a putt in like 15, 16 holes, it seems like. No. <laughs> that, he is dialed in at this point, playing some amazing golf. Okay, this is, uh, this is hole four. This is uh, just a straight 380-foot shot. It's usually a mid-range or a fairway driver. This, and I don't think we talked about it before, but underneath these trees isn't the easiest of things either. No, no. Like it's, it almost feels like you've got to hit something low or hit that exact gap to get it up high enough. Yep, and you don't get much of a skip here, so you gotta, you gotta air it all the way to the basket. Lee, this is Clint, uh, Clint's Saint Pro. That's tailing off a little quick. You might be back by that fence. 
Is it possible that we see uh, Clint miss a putt? I don't know. At this point, it doesn't seem like he can even like I, he's even missing left or right. I'd go to Vegas <laughs> and say he makes it. Put the money down. Yeah. That's a good shot from Mason. Yep. What are you throwing for this distance? Uh, I'm going rock three here. This is my overstable rock three. I just leave it a little wide there. That's not too bad. No. A little long. Got about like a 38 footer. Yeah. Oh. A little off. It's been a long day of golf. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you've played, what, uh, 14 holes already, and now you're playing a final nine. Let's see if Mason. You can tell right. everybody's just a little bit fatigued. That's a lot of golf to play nonstop. Doesn't seem Great to phase putt. Joey. Joey wants to go another nine after this. <laughs> Let's see where Clint ends up. Okay, here we go. He's not as bad as spot. Yeah. yeah, he's not missing this. Not a chance. Ladies and oh. gentlemen, Clint Calvin is human. Newsflash, <laughs> he is human. He missed a putt. Wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I don't think he's seen his putter touch the ground in like 18 holes. Oh, you take knock the leaves off that, Clint. And like, oh. Unbelievable. What a run, though. Holy smokes. Like he's running away with this. But Joey at this point, he's three down. He's making up some ground. Mason and Clint, both two down, and you're sitting at even through these first five holes, four holes. Yeah, four. I've been a little slow on the start. Um, hole five, 354 feet. I think for all of us, this is, this is just going to be a little hyzer out to the right side. See, I want to see somebody go the left route. The lefty in me wants to see that left route taken by one of you guys. <laughs> yeah, live on the edge. Maybe Clint should do it. Clint's got the strokes to play with. Yeah, serious. And it's not a rated round. You only have nine holes. Nope. He's all business. We don't, you know, take note here. There's no letting up in Clint. He's got that Mamba mentality going on right now. He wants, yep. to, he wants to yep. destroy everybody. I don't know that. He's a super nice guy. He probably <laughs> doesn't want to destroy everybody. <laughs> Looks like everyone's taking the same Heiser line. Which is, it's trickier than it looks too because there's that little tiny tree right there that you really have to go in front of that you can catch too. So there is a window that you do have to hit. Yeah, it's a very specific hyzer. And I believe, yeah, it's just a little, a little long. long. There's yep. a willow tree back there that if you're under that, you got to contend with that a little. Mason found the hazard, looks like. Oh, oh boy. So that'll be a bogey for Mason because of that hazard. Looks like Joey's got a circle's edge putt here. Oh, off the top as well. Ooh. Wait, who is this guy? <laughs> we just we just seen Clint Calvin miss two putts. But he doesn't need him, I guess. He's so far ahead at this point that he's just running away. That's a good putt. Alan felt good to make a putt finally. That's a good putt. Joey cleaning up his par. Sneaks that one in. This is one of my favorite holes, I think, though. You get there with the willow tree up there and the basket kind of on this side hill. It's pretty. Yeah, the willow tree almost acts as like a natural bunker. It's, it's pretty cool. These evening hours are my favorite time to play the bluff, too. You get the sun setting. It's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Okay, on to hole six. Uh, this is a 318 feet. A low fairway driver is usually uh, the go-to play on this hole. That's money. I got down there pretty good, yeah. That's that's a tough line to hit. It's very technical. I believe this is Joey's MD3. Oh, it's got to stable up. Maybe an MD4. That's up there. That's a great shot. That's up there. Especially for a mid-range, it's hard to get it that far down. We saw Clint park this in round one. See if he can hit a tree. Oh, it got through, though. It's through. He's got a window. <laughs> if you get under some of those pines, it's it's tough at that point even to par the hole. I 
I'm sure if there was a window, Mason would try and thumber this hole, but there is a covered T there. You weren't throwing that one. That's good up. That's a good approach. But it's got about the same. Giving it a little. And he's just uh, putting it yeah. up there. He's, he, he doesn't need any more strokes. He doesn't need anything. <laughs> he's just, he's on a victory lap right now. Joey with the falling putt. Quite graceful. Oh, no. Yeah, it's just low and left, kind of. With the battle you're in with Joey, I'm sure that's one you'd want back. Yeah, that one hurts. At this point, did you know where you were with Joey? Uh, at this point, I was. I looked on the next hole, so yeah, I was. I was just looking at this point. All right. Well, we had some more pars on that hole. Okay, hole seven, three hundred and sixty-five feet. Go-to play is a is a soft hyzer, and. Um, you got two trees guarding the green for the most part. Not too technical of a hole. That looks pretty good. Yeah, I just need to sneak underneath it. Oh yeah, that looked pretty nice. Let's see if Joey can dial one up. Joey going back to his FD3. Oh yeah. Doom can bird. that get under two? That's through it, that's in the gap. Clint going a little bit wider, which isn't a bad thing. Getting around the outside of that pine instead of cutting in between, but that looks pretty. Yeah, it's a good shot. As long as he misses these pine trees, that's not oh, bad yeah. either. You got all you up there. No, just short left. No, just what is going on? <laughs> That's those are uncharacteristic. Now, yeah. What do you think? Are you thinking I got to capitalize right now? Yeah, yeah. At this point, I mean, I know that me and Joey are close, so no, I want to make this. Whew. Just sneaks it in. Hey, nice. That was on the weak side, Jade. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I've I've been I've been left side all day, so hey, at least one is stuck. Today. When it's in the bottom <laughs> of the basket, it's there. All right, he missed the last two. Is, is his putter going to touch the ground? He's back. Got it. He's back. Clint is back. Incredible. Yeah, Clint's putting lights out. Yeah, this is... His circle two has been amazing this tournament. Look at the weather, too. Like From what we had those first two days with the wind, we're here in this evening and there is zero wind. It's just picturesque, perfect weather. Yeah, it is perfect. I mean, perfect temperature, everything. All right, hole eight. Hole eight is 280 feet. This is a pretty must-get hole. Um, it's, it's usually just a little sidearm, yeah, just playing into this hill. So are you, you and Joey are neck and neck right now. Yeah, yeah. Like, I think you're even tied. Yep, I believe we're tied at this point. That's a nice forehand. Tucks around the back side of that hill. That looked pretty Joey good. Joey just pins that one, yeah, it's about 20 feet. Mason looks like he's flexing something out, but that was yeah. uh, too far left, it looked like. I think that's concrete slab again, just a little, little overturned again. He leans on that disc a lot. Yeah, he throws it well. Puck count 2021. Can Clint make it again? Do God. not doubt this man. <laughs> Do not doubt Clint Calvin. All right, Cade. No. No. <laughs> Stop. Uh. Oh, my gosh. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. A little high right. Oh boy. Oh boy. Man, Joey knows now at this point. This is that's big. That's a that's big putt. Big. That's taking a few strokes on me there. Joey picks up the birdie, and Cade's there to tap in for a bogey. That's a two-stroke swing. That's yeah. That's hard. Two strokes with this last hole. It's with one hole to go. Yeah, it's there's not a whole ton that can happen, but hey, we've so, seen there's an always ace. hope. We've yeah. seen an ace. There's some OB, so we'll see. Well, you'll have you'll have Joey going before you, so you'll be able to see what you need to do. Yeah. But Clint still just yeah, Clint just pure in this stuff. slaying it. Still four under, four under through eight holes. He's at a putt, I believe, on every hole. So here we That's go, last hole of the tournament. Three thirty-four. You got the hazard short, and you got OB long and right and left on the cart path. Clint at this point knows it's in hand. It's he's strokes and strokes ahead. Let's see what Joey if Joey can park this, he can put it pretty much put it away. Going pretty wide. That is wide. I didn't see where it ended up. I believe it comes down just a little short. Alright, here's Mason. Might be going to his uh, 2017 Firebird Ooh. Sexton. He, re he relies on that pretty heavily too. It's a good year. It's yeah. A good year. Looks like it's just... that's a good shot. He's safe. Right. He's on the cart path. So are but... you thinking you got to run this? You got to hit this? Uh, at this point, I mean, I'm thinking I just want to park it. I don't. I mean, I'm. Uh, nice would be nice, but that tree's kind of guarding it. Looks like you put it pretty close. Yeah. Yeah, Mason's the furthest oh. out. Oh. Sit. That's a good putt. Yeah, it and feels good to make good the last one there. <laughs> Here's Clint. Is this going to be his final putt of the tournament? Oh, stretch it out. Stretch See. it out. Take your time. Oh! oh! Hey, we can just say he laid that up on purpose to walk away. You know, you want, you know, you win a tournament. You want to be that last putt, and yeah. he's got that. Here it is. Oh no, nope. yeah. we still got one. We've got Mason. Yep. Yeah, Joey ended up laying up that putt. He had he had two strokes on me, so. No reason to run it and risk hitting the cage and rolling away or something funny like that. So smart on his part, I guess. Yeah, very smart. And Clint with the win, pulling it off. The 2021 Beehive Classic, Infinite Disc Beehive Classic champion. Insane. Finishes the tournament at 24 down. Joey was able to secure second place at 12 down, and you're there at 11 down. Yeah, Joey was in control the whole time. Oh, who's this guy? Hey, I made I made the film. <laughs> I'm the hairy man up there on the on the on the deck there. <laughs> Joey's great, man. One of the one of the most genuine, nicest guys you'll ever meet. For sure. We uh, these trophies we did, being the Beehive Classic, we got pure raw local honey for all these trophies. Pretty cool. Second place ones are, are third, second and third place are pretty cool, but the first place trophies are pretty sweet. Coming in as our champion of this tournament for the MPO division at 24 under par, having an ace on that second round on hole 17 the one the only what's this, this guy fumbling no. over his words <laughs> yeah, I'm on the spot up there here he is the champion Clint Calvin coming all the way in from San Diego sleeping on the side of my house in his van winning by 12 strokes 
Incredible. He's been here. He's been here for months. He's been here for a while. Yeah, he he played lights out, especially that final nine on that second round. Just incredible. Yeah, yeah, he was in control the whole tournament. He never really took any big numbers. Well, Kate, this has been great. You played good. You played good, and you'll be back next year, right? Yes. Yeah, yep. you've got to come back. Clint says he's coming back. He said this was his favorite trophy he's ever won, ever. This crystal beehive filled with local honey. I saw him the other day putting some, putting it on his, on his oatmeal. It's great. Well, thanks to Infinite Disc, thanks to Pro Discus and Yakun Disc uh, for sponsoring this tournament. It was great. We'll see y'all next year. <laughs>